Lisa coming back at you from my living room. Today we're going to be doing some compound exercises, meaning we're going to be working our lower body and our upper body at the same time. Today's equipment, we're only going to need two small cans of soup and one paper plate for a slider. So this is going to be really fun, uh, working both your upper body and your lower body at the same time will get your heart rate up and it's going to activate your core as you work both ends of your body here. So, what we're going to start with? Of course, we're going to start with a reverse lunge. One of my absolute favorites. The difference. Arms are going to be up here. We're going to be in our lunge and we're going to take it back and up into a tricep extension. And that's it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do 12 on each side. So, belly button in, weight in your heel, arms up, shoulders down, and we're going to take it down into a down into our reverse lunge and extend our triceps here. We go. One and uh, up. And two. And uh, weight in your heel. Three. And uh, up. Four. And uh, up. Five. And up. Let those weights come all the way back. And up. Get that full range of motion in, in your arms. Four more. Nine. And up. Ten. And up. Eleven. And up. Twelve. And up. Good. Check everything out. <sighs> Feeling good. You should feel that in your backs of your arms. You should feel that in your legs. Hold yourself stable, holding in that belly button. Shoulders back. Let's go to the other side. Remember 90 degree angles in those legs. Arms up. Remember, we want to take it down. 12 reps. Here we go. And one. And uh, up. Two and uh, up. Three and up. Weight in your heels. Four and up. Five and up. Make sure your elbows stay back and up. When you squeeze your triceps, don't let them come forward here. All right. Stay right up by your ears. Up. Four more. Nine and up. Ten. Up, 11, and up, last one, 12, and up, good, shake it out, into a sumo squat, so we are in a rotated position, arms are going to be down, what we're going to do is a sumo squat with a bicep curl, so we take it down, and on the way up, we curl it up. All the way up. We fully extend our arms down and we pull them all the way up. We wanna take this one kinda of slow so we can get enough time under tension here to get us some great results. All right, belly button in, weight in your heels, knees over toes, keep that chest up and your shoulders back. This time, we're going to be doing 24 reps all right, so this is a good one. We're really gonna work this one right here. Ready? And one, and, uh, and two, and uh, three, and, uh, and four, and up, uh, five, and up, uh, six, and up, uh, seven, up and eight. Oh, it's feeling good already, isn't it? Nine and up. Weight in your heels. Ten and up. Pull the belly button in. Eleven and up. Twelve. Halfway there. Thirteen and up. Really squeeze those biceps. Down and up. 
down and up. Keep going. Down and up. I think this is 18. I may have missed one. 19 and up. 20 and up. Almost there. One and up. You should be feeling the burn. And up. 23 and up. 24. Oh, give it one last slow squeeze on your way up. Excellent. Excellent. Now we're going to sit down in the cans for a second while we get our slider. This is going to be a really great, great, great exercise for your for the back of your body. We're going to work on a little bit on your rear delts, um, which is back here, and it's great for us dancers when we hold our arm a la second. So we have that nice, we have that strength going on in our back. We reach for our arabesque. It's that really pretty muscle that holds everything up and in its spot. We're going to slide all the way down into a runner's lunge. Now this is this is going farther than our regular reverse lunge and it's getting us all the way into a runner's lunge. The idea is very similar. Front leg is still going to be at a 90 degree angle and we are still going to be having our weight in our heel. So we're going to have that forward lean. The difference is going to be our back leg is going to be straight. So demonstrate it once. We're going to take it back, down, and when we stop up here, we're going to do a nice reverse fly. All right? Keep that belly button in. Keep that back nice and strong. Don't lead with your elbows. You want to open your chest in a C shape this way. Okay? We're working your rear delts. We're working these the muscles between your shoulder blades, uh, your traps, your rhomboids. Everything is all working together to, uh, to work your back, keep you nice and supported, and get you nice and strong. Again, keep your belly button in. We're going to do 12 on this side. So this is a big one. Ready? Here we go. And one. And up. And fly. And down. And two. Slide it up. And fly. And down. Three. And up. Fly. And down. Four. And up, fly. Oh, this feels good. Down, and up, fly. And six, and up, and fly. I don't know about you guys. Down, and up, but I'm feeling the burn. Up, and down, all the way down, up, reach. Four more, we can do it. Down, and up, weight in your heel, fly, and down. Get all the way, reach, and fly. Two more, we can do it. Down, and up, fly, and down. Last one, last one, and up, and fly. Oh, yes. Oh, shake that one out. Shake that one out. Whew. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Should have gotten a nice core workout there. And you should be feeling those reverse flies in your back. Feels so good. Looks so good. But we gotta do the other side now. So, getting a double dose of those reverse flies here. Same thing. Belly button in. Nice long spine. Give me that lean, weight in your heel. Straight back leg. And we're gonna get ready to fly. 12 of them. Here we go. And one. And up. And fly. And down. And two. And up. And fly. And down. Three. Up. Whoops. Balance check again. And four. And up. Up. Ah, oh, feeling it. Five, and up, up, and down. Six, and up, reach, and down. Seven, and up, reach, and down. 
eight, and up, reach. Don't throw them. Down, and up, just squeeze, and down. 10, and up, and squeeze, and down. Two more, down, and up, squeeze, and down. Last one, down, and up, squeeze, and down. Oh my goodness, loving it, loving it, and loving it some more. So, put the cans down, get rid of your slider here. Now we're gonna do another one of my favorites. It's a curtsy lunge, and we're gonna add a shoulder press. So, weights are gonna be up here. You can use your small cans, big cans, however strong you feel you are in your shoulders. Be safe, be smart. We're doing 12 reps on each side, so that's 24 total reps on your shoulders. So be safe, be careful, know your limits. So belly button in. Make sure your feet are parallel, your hips are facing front. When you step back into your diagonal, you've got that nice lean going on. And when you step back up, press to the ceiling. That's it, this foot just kind of goes out for balance. And bring it back down before you go into your curtsy again. All right, like I said, 12 reps on each side. That's 24 reps on your shoulders. Know your limits, choose your weights wisely. All right, here we go. Curtsies, belly button in, in a natural, neutral position on your arms. Don't push them too far back. Don't bring them too far forward. That's, some, that's a different exercise entirely. So, we're holding it. Curtsies, let's go. Down, and one, and two, and up. Three, and up. Four, and up. Weight in your heel up, six, and up, seven, and up, eight, and up, nine, and up, almost there, ten, and up, eleven, and up, twelve, and up, good, shake it out, last side. Last exercise in this workout. This is great. All right, take it back up, belly button in, get yourself nice and square and aligned. Bring that lean forward, weight in your heel. Curtsy, here we go. One, and uh, up. Two, and uh, up. Three, and up. Four, and up. Five, and up, six, halfway there, almost done, and up, weight in your heel, eight, and up, you should feel those shoulders, nine, and up, ten, don't let them come up here and join your ears, put them down, eleven, and up, last one, twelve, and up, oh, Feels so good. See, I'm breathing a little heavier this time. Working that upper body in conjunction with your lower body gets your heart rate up, activates your core, and gives you an amazing overall workout. That was just one round. I recommend two or three rounds, uh, depending on your endurance level and strength level. Like I said, choose your weights wisely, know your limits, and come back and join me again for another great workout with Ballet Fit Lisa on Ballet Fit Body.